May is just a couple days away. It will start Mental Health Awareness Month. Joining us now from Iowa State University Outreach and Extension is Human Science Specialist Danielle Day. Danielle, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. A great topic. And what are some things you want people to be aware of for me? Yeah, so really May, with it being Mental Health Awareness Month, we want to remind people that it's all of our job to help reduce the stigma. Um, and there's some ways we can do that with programming, but also like educating yourself and supporting one another. That's huge. Right, just having that empathy, being kind to each other. Absolutely, we're all one community, which yeah. means <laughs> we're looking out and taking care of one another. Absolutely, and there's lots of resources Iowa State University and Extension and Outreach has. Can you tell us about some of them? Absolutely, so we obviously have some of our farm stress resources, right. um, which is huge, and so we actually have some brochures and handouts, but we also have some programming. So we have um, programs like Mental Health First Aid and Youth Mental Health First Aid, which give people kind of those basic skills to be able to recognize signs and symptoms right. that might be happening with colleagues or friends or neighbors and then how do you support them that important next step of what do you do now yes and learning the resources that are out there in your community and nationally is huge right and I know it's very complicated but what are some tips you have just briefly to share how to recognize and what to do next absolutely it's really about recognizing what might be different mm -hmm. in what's going on. So if you see someone maybe more agitated than they usually are, or um, maybe perhaps they're not taking care of themselves the way they usually would mm -hmm. or withdrawing, you want to kind of ask what's going on and check in on them and see, you know, it might not be a mental health challenge. Mm -hmm. Could be something else, yeah. But realistically, one in five adults and, and children mm -hmm. are going to have a serious mental health challenge within any given year. That's a really high number, so we want to be able to support those around us and in our networks. Yeah, and I think there's a perception you don't want to meddle in other people's lives, but it can be life-saving. Absolutely, that, you know, keep to myself, but in reality, you want to check in on your neighbors and be that support system because it might just be that they need that listening ear right. and to know that they're not alone or they might not even recognize what's going on themselves. All right, Danielle, thanks for being here today. Absolutely, thank you. Jan.